Sandpit operators work in very dynamic and often wet environments. The Lang Lang Sandpit is exploited through dredging. The water extents, change continuously, and in such a fast-changing environment, safety is always a top priority. Drone surveying has become a key tool to support these sandpit operations. Keep watching. Let me explain to you a few words about the Lang Lang Pit first. Bulldozers push the sand in the water. This barge sucks the dirt up and pumps it through these pipes to the processing site. This other barge widens the dredging pond further. Quarry management wants to monitor these water extents carefully. I will teach you a technique on how to extract the water. I draw a rough boundary around the pond first. Then I convert that boundary to a water item. I lower the water somewhere close to the actual level and I further refine. Fifty three point forty meters seems to be a good water level. Then I calculate the intersection with the terrain. Water is very noisy with drone surveying and the result doesn't look that nice at first sight. But I can easily remove all the intersections with the noise. I select the outer boundary and click Select Within. Then I press Delete. That looks much better already. I go through all the remaining intersections and delete what's not useful. Finally, I need to clean up the noise from the water extent. I enable the XY Edit Mode. I use Shift and the left mouse button to select a range of vertices. I press Delete to remove the vertices. And I repeat this process. Shift, Select and Delete. Shift, Select and Delete. My water extent for July 29th is ready. I can also use this to remove the noise of the water. I select the extent and triangulate within. Then I press Modify Terrain and the noise is nicely flattened over the water body. Now I will show you an advanced editing method. We already have July 29th. I create another terrain state for August 26th. And I add the ortho photo and DSM. Then I go back to July 29th and pin the water item. This will make it appear in all other time steps that I add. This is safe as the water level doesn't fluctuate. I apply the same technique. I select the water item. Intersect. Select within. Delete. Editing is not as simple as in the previous time step. Here I move the vertices towards the side. The Edit XY setting assures that the vertex stays on the same elevation. When the edit is complete, the boundary goes nicely under these pipes. Here I must create a section manually. I enable the Split tool. I split the boundary here and here, and delete the segment. Then I draw a new polyline. I need to make sure that this polyline is at the same elevation as the water level. So I enable Edit Z, and select all the vertices by pressing Ctrl A. I set the elevation to 53.40 meters. I select both segments and click to boundary to convert them to a closed boundary again. My boundary for August 26th is ready. Now I will show you the entire time series. 
the water extents are pinned. So I can switch to any other date and the extents appear. December 27th, November 19th, and so on. In many cases, the extent disappears under the terrain. So I switch to 2D view by clicking the 2D icon in the navigation tab. This will present the 3D data in a map view and make sure that all boundaries are always placed as the top layer. Let me also add the maximum allowed dredging extent. This will make a nice picture for my report to site management. Unfortunately, some dates, like August 26th, have little shadows. That doesn't really look super in the 2D view mode. Let me present my map in a different way. I disable the ortho photo and the shaded relief lens activates automatically. Then I add some color. And I stretch the color palette to a narrow range. Now this looks super. This will also give similar appearances for all the other dates. Safety is key on this fast-changing site. The sand that is pushed by the dozers settles under its natural slope. These slopes are stable and safe. They settle at around 79%. But some areas are clearly steeper. I can easily identify them by setting a 79% threshold on the slope steepness lens. All the areas that exceed the threshold appear in red. I benefit again from the flattened water bodies. All the noise would make it harder for me to identify the problem areas. This is an area of concern. A collapse might harm the operators on the dredging barge and cause a flood wave. Quarry management has taken measures. They try to erode the slope by letting water run over it. This has improved the situation, but it's a work in progress. The 2D view mode allows me here to report that progress. Do you want to keep up with similar workflows? Then subscribe to the Virtual Surveyor YouTube channel. Click on the subscribe button in the center. Or explore other workflows in detail in the next video.